Hey folks, um, so this is part five right now. Uh, I decided to go ahead and just do the rest of it off camera. I know I said every single step, but you know, time wise, it's supposed to rain again tomorrow. It rained yesterday, I couldn't get out, so. But there's a couple of issues I wanted to point out. One, when you get to the really thin parts, it can blow through if you're not really careful. I was not careful there, I was not careful there, I was not careful right there. So through here, it's just going to get cut all the way along. So this was already a hole that I wasn't careful, careful with again, and well, it blew out. So it'll just get cut straight along here. That's going to get sewn up later on. So there's that hole and that hole. All right now, I'm just trying to thin it. Because this is going to be part of uh, my my buckskins that I'm going to wear. Um, real quick, I'm going to show you real quick how to take care of this washboarding. So stay tuned. Three, two, one. Okay, so the washboarding here is because this wasn't really all that tight through here. I did the best I could. Uh, as you can see right, from right here, I've changed the way I actually uh, put the uh, tie this up. In the long run, I'm still going to do it this way, just making a loop and just tying it around. But I pre-cut these before I even was thinking. And I was having trouble keeping it all tight to begin with, with the other way. So, the only ones that, are, that haven't changed are these right here, and uh, those three up there because all the others are like this. Anywho, without further ado, this was because I was going vertically. Now, to get to take care of this, go horizontally. I just did crap. That one keeps the popping through. But you can see right here. You can see some discoloration, but you really don't feel much. So let's take care of the rest of this. And as always, you want a really, really sharp scraper. Um, depending on how you make yours, or if you buy one. Sharpening methods will uh, differ, and I'll show you mine real quick. All right, so all I use is a small file. Okay, so right, what I do is, uh, yeah, you'll have to see how look at this angle. I apologize, but I just go up. initially tempered it a little hard because I, I forged this one out. Um, my sister-in-law has asked me to make one that will handle a moose hide which I, because life has gone to crap I haven't done yet and I apologize. I will get to her stuff as soon as I can. So, but you can see even as is, I mean I'm scraping the nice stuff off though. I'm going to reset the camera and I'll show you how I'm doing it up through here. Because again this is this is the way it is. Uh, single legging, could be part of a shirt. I'm not sure yet. But it's nice size. I want to thin around a bit. And of course, I got a lot more to do. Like I said, I got five over there already salted, which I'll have to clear, clean out, clean up, and all that crap. I got one that I haven't uh, scraped yet, but have dried, which I need to finish. I've gotten one I fresh grape that I need to just put some solution in the smoke. I've got one that I need to fix and smoke. It's just a little crunchy in the spots. And I got three. Is it three? Or is that two? I think two or three that I scraped but I haven't finished out yet. And I think I might just thin those down too because for garments. Uh, I got the B5, which I, I'll do hair off. I'll make it buckskin. That I might. I don't know. 
We'll see how that goes. If I can get working right, it'd be more like moose eye butts. So I'd have to thin it a bit, but I would turn that into probably a buttload of bags and sell a few of those. We'll see. All right, let me reset the camera. You'll see how, how I'm starting to thin. This is a new territory for me. I've, I haven't done any thinning yet. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I know this video is not going to be a long one. I apologize. But there's just, it's supposed to, like I said, it's supposed to rain tomorrow and I want to get this done as close as I can. So a lot of people will probably just go straight down. Feel how it is. I'm kind of wanting something more close to, because this is just going to be a lot of summer clothing for me. Uh, or late spring, early fall. I'm not going to do a whole lot. Some, another thing I might do with that beef eye is to make a couple of heavy duty pairs of moccasins. Uh, so, you can, you can feel just by the tension, the sound. how thick it is. I mean, up here at the neck, it's really thick, so I'm, I'm just... I'm also still trying to get some of this taken care of. Washboarding. As you saw in the last one, or the last two, rather, much of what I did with this, I, because again, this is really, really thick fur. I'm surprised that there was has such fur on her, to be honest. But I had to start trimming away in order to get it thin enough to start scraping with this thing. That's how happy the thing is. Of course, time of year has a lot to do with it. I'm having a heck of a time trying to. I mean, yeah, eventually I got to it. But, you know, it's not worth my time. Off. Yeah, I'm also going vertical, trying to. Another thing about thinning, from what I've read, it just makes softening so much easier because it's just so much less high to for for the solution to penetrate. I mean, moxins, that's one thing. Uh, I want to try to keep this going down a little bit. looking ribbons of skin so uh, another suggestion I would have make sure you just think you're pointing towards the sun because that's another way you can make sure it's nice and even by that I mean you'd be able to see through it and the thicknesses obviously have different opacities so. Well, that's one thing I'm listening for. 
All right, it's a little bit thick. This is full thickness, especially right here. Uh, remember, this is fine right here, and this is right the short side, and this is the rump end. Thickest parts of the body. Neck, back, butt. Along the spine, is usually fairly thick. But of course, here and here is the most. Because that's where a lot of most predators go for. Uh, you get a uh, mountain lion, which a lot of states are finally they're finally getting back into their natural range. Thank goodness. Uh, these go for either the neck or the rump. Just bring it down, then go for the neck. Wolves, same thing. They start fighting at the hawk, trying to knock her down. But you know, but and of course, same with the neck, especially on the back. Uh, other, other than that, though, I mean, it's somewhat not. I want to say thin. Well, you, until you get around to the sides and the belly. Because, I mean, right here, I could actually keep working and get the rest of that done. Same with probably, like, right here, but I'll uh, be honest, I'm getting tired. And I just don't want to have to work all that long. I'm a little, I'm a little lazy when it comes to bringing my bucks in. That could, that's one reason why I prefer this method. I can just come back to it. I mean... I can just pack up right now and go inside and do whatever and still be, still be here, ready and waiting. But, I like that I got, this is number 12. I got a lot to work on. Well, this is the 12th I've gotten this year. Then, like the 5th or 6th one I've actually scraped. Either uh, fl uh, green scrape or dry scrape. But I don't know. Yeah, that that wasn't very thick. I mean, we got it right here. That's still somewhat thick. So. right here this hole that hole all the one that won't be selling up faster are just gonna get cut off and I can just go right up through there or I mean I can just go that so that I can still have this chunk and this chunk right here either way But there's still, I mean, a lot, bit of washboarding, a lot of uh, marks from tool. Um, if you see, if you can see that. You're probably wondering, how are you gonna deal with that? If you smoke, once you smoke it, it's gonna look ugly. Yeah, but. When, when you later in the series, you'll see I have a pumice stone. I got Dollar Tree, which is just a dollar dollar store. For you those you didn't say they own. I mean, it's probably something similar to that in the UK. Or I know that Canada's got Dollar Tree, very similar stores at least. So. <laughs> stone to it. Here's the, not only does it take care of all the rough, not roughness, it also softens it up a little bit more. But, and of course, I mean, if you are one of those people that does it more than once, you know, rinsing and softening, it'll open up the more and help soften it even further.
the same thing with a uh, sandpaper or uh, uh, like a rough grit uh, sandstone. Same thing. Homestone was uh, readily available. It was cheap. I mean, fuck. I mean. I'm doing right now. Go around back. Check it. She's getting dull again. You're going to have to sharpen multiple times, folks. I mean, there's just no way about it. stop because I feel like there's going to be a hole. Uh, oh. So I guess like right here and right here there's some deep gouges that I can't get. So I just going to have to wait until it starts getting softened. I mean technically I could probably take the pumice stone out now do it that way. Well, I was trying to get the backside scraped a little bit, but it wasn't having any of that. Oh. But, right now, it looks just about easy.
And therefore, there you go to the solution. That will be in the next video. Uh, not sure how long that's going to, be, to take. I mean, I, don't, I mean, I don't know. Tell me to get out. Call it good. So, next time you'll see it, it'll be in the process of getting uh, brained. Well, not really brained, mailed. Because, like I said, I'll also show how I make that. I mean, it's not hard. It's literally just equal amounts of water, coconut oil, and like one egg. Maybe two, depending on how much oil. And, uh, water you're using. That makes it uh, very liquidy. Which I can probably just put straight onto here. Instead of soaking it, but I prefer to soak. Uh, some people prefer overnight. I... Some prefer just to bring it out, let it dry out for a little while, put it back in multiple times. I've done that. I've done the overnight. Honestly, I see no difference. I mean, I even um, straight just dunk it in, let it soak up, get completely wet, and soften it. I mean, I've done small patches of an another scra uh, scrape hide, dry scrape hide I did, and that came out gorgeous. But, Actually, I'm gonna see if I'll try and get this. So, there you guys go. You know, I had a little girl ask me for something uh, at my, the event I do every year for that. I mean, honestly, I said yes, but I mean, it's like, okay. But you know what? If that gets her. Interested in permanent skills, tanning, enough to actually want to do it. Great. Well, that was not a dying art. Most people do it once and just never pick it up again. Me, on the other hand, I love doing it. I just popped a hole. So. Yeah. Never mind. This one just get cut off there. Come around here. Up along here. And come down here. Uh, there's just no way I can get the rest of it. Open. I couldn't do enough. But I don't know. I'll let you guys know exactly how I did these. I mean, again, this is not the way I'm going to do it. I'm just going to use longer and do it this way. Which is actually just being the uh, rope through itself. Like, almost like a pressing now, but just going through it once. 
tightening it, tying that up on the hole and just tying it to the frame. That's it. All I need. That's all I'll ever do. Uh, I'm doing about like six to seven feet foot pieces. That way I can do, go as small as I need to. Like maybe a beaver or a small, small sheepskin or a lamb. To these guys. And even the big ones come from the back. Uh, if I do anything bigger than that, the bison hide I have, not bison, oh, which, uh, bison by the way, uh, which I will do someday. I will do a bison someday. Only I'll do uh, a half. Uh, cut, cut in half, do, do the two separate hut, uh, occasions. With hair on, with loads, because I, I want, uh, you know what? What I plan on doing for my skins is a different video altogether. I'll do, do one later. Explaining why I'm playing, why I've switched from the fantasy thing I was wanting to do, which I did explain a little bit of the series, to Mountain Man. I mean, I've always been interested in Mountain Man, the whole idea of it. But, you know, alright. Well, that's it for now. Uh, so have fun, play hard, and I'll see you in the one.